I'm Casey Conrad from Rhode Island and I've just landed here in beautiful Spokane, Washington for another winter harvest. And I have longed to come to winter harvest for five years. I have no idea what to expect. I'm very excited and to see how the uh, essential oil can be created. But I'm gonna meet a lot of nice friends, a lot of old friends that I've met before. It was just such a great experience, I had to come back again. Now we're ready to go play in the dirt. Well, we just landed here in Spokane. I came over from Seattle. We drove from Canada. I flew in from Minneapolis. We drove from Oregon. I think it was about 20 hours flight. We got here about uh, nine last night, and it's been awesome ever since. I've read about the balsam fir harvest, and I thought, enough just reading about it, let's do it. And I was always waiting for my opportunity to come here, because this is really something different. It's just an opportunity to get out and be part of nature in a way that's different than anything else that you can do. I figured we were going to be stuck in a building, you know, doing a lot of chemistry stuff, and it's been Totally opposite. I'm not the big camper, but if I had to go camping, this is definitely the place to go. You got the camp atmosphere, but you got all the facilities of home. For me, it's it's basically payback for everything that Gary and Mary have done for myself and for my wife. There's something about the harshness of the winter, the cold, the snow, the freezing rain. It brings the best out in people. I think the teamwork here is what makes it so fun. It's like a family atmosphere. It's awesome to meet other people who have the same interests from you. You will find not only lasting friendships, but a great way to build your business. To be a part of a team, a unique group of people that come from various nations is really a, a soul-stirring experience. For the last five years, I've thought about building a distillery at Highland just simply because every year the trucking from here to St. Mary's gets to be more difficult. So I started this year really looking at it and decided to go ahead and build a distillery here at Highland. From seed to seal has a totally different meaning for me. So I can't wait to try the thing with the horses. I've never logged with a horse before. And they're very gentle and they're very responsive. But I know they're huge. They are huge. And, and next thing you know, I'm hooked up with trees down on the ground to my left on a chain and I've got these two big, beautiful Percherons. I just finished an equine raindrop. It's my favorite thing to do. We got to take part in doing everything from shearing trees. I mean, we were out there knocking trees down, driving the machines. <laughs> I thought coming out here, we would just be snipping off branches, but you take the whole tree. And then they get moved over close to the chipper. The tree has gone, taken through the chipper. It's like us playing a video game. Yeah. With a joystick. <laughs> to watch the chipper destroy this huge tree in a matter of seconds is really cool. There's a lot of times where we're just out picking up sticks. Gary calls them the gold. He'll say, okay, everybody, look around, and if you see any sticks or any green, that's the gold. So let's pick them up one by one. It takes 10 minutes to get a trailer load of chips to the distillery. We back in on a heated floor. It's a lot warmer. Uh, even though the weather is colder outside, it is just so good to have this covered. What we do is we'll scoop up the blue spruce or the balsam fir, and we dump it into these vats here. That's a brand new cooker, and it's one of the largest cookers in the world. We call it the monster cooker. Almost a half of an entire truckload of ponderosa pine went into one. We were actually down inside the cooker, stomping, pitchforking. Then after we get the lid put on. Let it cook for four hours. We lift it up and we bring it out to the, through these doors 
and then we dump it right here. And, and then it goes down into the basement, into the separators. And the steam condenses, the, the steam brings the oil out. Uh, it was such a delight, I'm rushing downstairs to see the first drips. And when it starts coming, it bubbles up. And I think the best part of it for me is to smell it, because it smells so good. Here at our new GC gas chromatography lab. You can see that there's a lab that tests every batch of oil that goes through. We're able to check it right then and there, make sure everything's pure and good. I'm up here to set up a miniature version of our bottling lines. The distributors can come in and bottle and label and cap their own bottle and, and then keep it as a sample. So from the chips to the oil into the bottles. It's so fun to see that process. I actually have taken a lot of pictures. We've even created a Facebook group for this week. I've already shared, I think, uh, 50 pictures on Facebook. I think in the last 24 hours, I've gotten six or seven people saying, hey, I want more information. This looks really interesting. What the heck are you guys doing? And I've been sending pictures and videos of us driving all the, <laughs> the heavy machines around. And my friends are like, I'm so jealous. Well, one of the really nice parts of being here is that when you've worked a long time, then they have uh, a hot tub. We actually take the water from our processing. There's balsam fir and um, blue spruce. It's been nice, our skin's been really soft. I know, I'm like rubbing the water <laughs> on my face, like, oh, it feels like a baby's bottom. Yeah. In all these years, building 11 distilleries around the world, I've never had a christening or a grand opening for one of our distilleries or farms before. I was told yesterday that we've got 300. I didn't know that we were going to have that big a crowd. I might have planned to put on a different suit. But anyway, it's going to be a great time. I just would invite anybody to come out and enjoy and experience and be a part of what is one of the greatest things that we could do in the world, and that is to bring the purest essential oils to everybody. Everybody wants to do something in their life that makes a difference. And I feel that that's what this company does. If you do nothing in your life but come here to the Young Living Farm in Highland and have this experience even for a day, it will enrich in your life and you will gain an appreciation for what it takes to make a pure essential oil.